Hello and a very warm welcome to the WTA Tour Stop Torre Pan Pacific Open Final here in Tokyo, Japan. Amanda Kutza of South Africa taking on the newly crowned Martina Hingis at number one in the world. And she gained after winning her semi-final against Jana Novotna. You would have seen that with us here on Eurosport yesterday had you have been tuning in in this wonderful arena, the Metropolitan Gymnasium here in Tokyo. Kutzer, what a week it's been for her. No route through to today's final. In the first round, she beat Maui Serenaire of Spain, 6-2, 6-1. She beat qualifier Else Callens of Belgium in the second round, 7-5 in the third. Coming back from 5-1 down in that final set, did Kutzer. And then in the third round, the quarterfinals beating the world-ranked number one, Lindsay Davenport. 2-6, 6-4, 6-3, and then yesterday putting out Monica Selesh, 6-4, 6-2, and that win against Monica Selesh yesterday, her first win against her in a sixth attempt for Martina Hingis, obviously newly crowned Australian Open champion again, three in a row for her singles and doubles at uh, Melbourne just last week. Dodgy opening first round against Sugiyama of Japan, dropping the opening set but coming through 6-1, 6-2 in the second and third sets, then beating the legendary Steffi Graf. Our first look at Martina, 6-4 in the third, and then yesterday beating rather comfortably in the end, Jana Novotna, many breaks of serve in that match. Coming through 6-3, 6-4, and Amanda Kutza, 27 years of age, born in Hoopstad in South Africa and lives there. It's going to be an interesting battle, this, because there's no way is Kutsa going to feel confident about winning the match in the back of the court, but that's how she loves to play, from the back. Ingus to get us underway. 15 miles. You've seen there the uh, odd serve and volley from Ingus. Caught pretty quick here, indoor carpet. 30 miles. Just five feet two, a South African. A six tour titles to her credit, notably the best last year, the tier one event, Hilton Head. Very quick, comfortable start for Martina Hingis. Love game. I said at the end of the commentary from yesterday's semi final that. Martina Hingis certainly wasn't firing on all cylinders and maybe just after the Australian Open, just feeling a little bit jaded. Be a chance for Amanda Kutzer here to maybe get a scalp. She's beaten Martina Hingis twice before. The first time back in the Australian Open in 1996, 6-1 in the third set. The other win in Leipzig, indoors on carpet, 7-6 in the third, 7-3 in the tiebreak in the semi-finals there. This is a tall order today for the 27-year-old South African. As I've been saying in the last couple of days, the atmosphere is quite amazing in Japan. Everyone is so polite. Claps in the right places. There's been no screaming and shouting. We're so used to that now in the world of tennis. Trophies on offer here in the final. $150,000 prize money to the winner. 75000 for the runner-up. Martin Hingis has won their last two encounters in Fiddlestadt in 97 and uh, this year in the Australian Open in the round of 16. Their last meeting, Hingis coming through 6-1 in the third set.
regard to super camera angle, isn't it? It really does give you the appreciation of the shot choices and the court coverage that Kutza had to maintain in this rally. It's a good choice for Martina here to play this on the full, even though it was a pretty high lob. And that the obvious benefit of being a prolific doubles player as well. She's developed all the skills to make her a far more all-round player. <laughs> so early problems for the South African. Two break points. Is Kutz are going to construct a win here? She's got to play from the back of the court, but it's a pretty quick indoor carpet against probably the best backcourt player there is in the game. But there is no second game plan for the South African. She's just going to have to play better from the back. debut on the tour. When Martina Hingis was just seven years of age. It's a pretty scary thought, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that's Amanda Kutz's boyfriend sitting courtside. She has an English coach now, Nigel Sears, since July of last year. Nigel Sears worked for the LTA for many, many years. It's all pretty easy at the moment, isn't it? For the world's number one tennis player, will be number one on Monday. Number two for this tournament. She leads three love in the opening set. Welcome back. Three love for Martina Hingis. If you're just joining us here on Eurosport for this, the final of the Torre Pan Pacific Open here in Tokyo. Amanda Kutza, 27-year-old South African, seeded seven, world ranked number 15, up against it. all at the moment and I'm sure that's because of this enormous problem of having to uh, play from the back of the court. The belief about whether she can win or not must be questionable. She beat Steffi Graf three times in one year in 19, 
97, and that was her best year, Kutzer. She was world ranked number three that year. Semi finalist in the Australian and the French. Her best showings in Grand Slams. She was also a semi finalist in the Australian Open in 1996. Australian press nicknamed her the Little Assassin after she beat Steffi Graf at their championships in 1997. Little being the operative word. It's beautiful into our volley. The way she cut her wrist inside the ball, just making the ball move away from the <laughs> opponent was super. Just watch this again here. Watch Martina Hingis's wrist as she cuts across the side of the ball there. And look at the ball bounce. It just goes away from the outstretched racket and further break point chances for the Swiss girl. An overall from the chair. The call was for out. An immediate mistake spotted, and the point will be replayed. No complaints from either girl. isn't there four love now for Hingis opening set mother Melanie Molitor there on the right it's oh. interesting after the semi-final win against Jana Novotna Martina Hingis in the press conference was asked okay what now you're back at number one so she said well I was there for 80 weeks from March of 97 to October 98 maybe it's an ambition now to be number one for the rest of my career and she said it not to believe that she meant it First chances for Kutza to get on the score sheet. Generous applause. Amanda Kutza. It's nods of approval from the fan club court side. Gets on the score sheet at last. Interesting, I talked about the interests of Martina Hingis yesterday in commentary. The interests of Amanda Kutza 
include reading, shopping again, well there's no surprise for another lady, but also bartending, which is quite an interesting hobby. So she's going to have to pull out all the stops here if she's going to upset Martina Hingis. And it's, it's a tough one, isn't it? I mean, sitting before the match with her coach, I'm sure they were discussing the game plan, reminding themselves of the fact that Kuta had beaten Martina Hingis twice before. She got a set off at, at the Australian Open in the round of 16s, where the other two sets were three and one, the first and last. But it'd just be interesting listening, wouldn't it, to... to be a fly on the wall as to the conversation that must have taken place about how they were going to beat Martina Hingis. I suppose if you're not going to come in, which clearly she won't do in this match, she's just got to say to herself in the rallies, I've just got to be tougher and just get one ball back more than my opponent. But I just don't believe that she feels she's got the ability to do it somehow early on in this match. She's made many, many unforced errors. We shall see. 1-4, first set. She's just starting to warm to the task. Shots going more into the corner. She's not playing down the middle of the court as much. And for once, it's Miss Hingis who's doing the scampering. Look at this shot here for accuracy. <laughs> Crowd certainly enjoyed that one. A risky tactic, though. I'm sure we'll not see this again in the rest of the match. It's pure instinct. Won seven doubles titles herself, Amanda Kutza. My skill certainly coming to the rescue there. of the ladies doubles here will be between Martina Hingis and Jana Novotna, the top seeds against Lindsay Davenport and Natasha Zareva, the second seeds. It's been a busy year for this young lady. Not happy with the call. It did look good too, I have to say. squarely on the line. She doesn't normally complain, Martina Hingis. Oh, looked without any shadow of a doubt on the line. Chair on pipe, no way. Was he going to overrule it? It was the closest line to him. That was surprising. 40 love. <laughs> Had out of temper more than anything else, I think. Oh. Okay. So next four in a row. She's now won two in a row to reduce the deficit. No unforced errors, so she certainly tightened up and got immediate reward for it. Going for the angles more as well. Good. 
15. I suppose sort of errors that she's got to cut out. so well when to apply the extra pressure doesn't she look at the body weight going into that shot making Kurtzer scurry again just not allowing her opponent to dominate oh. So the run is halted. Martina Hingis is 5 2 up in the opening set here in Tokyo. Stay with us, we'll be back with more tennis after the break. Welcome back to an aerial view. I never quite understood that camera angle, but still 5 2, Martina Hingis. Kutz are serving to stay in the opening set. Just that extra pressure, isn't it? The ink supplies just ups the pace a little bit on the ground strokes. Two set points for Martina Hingis superb angle wasn't it just inside the line that's not easy to make that shot well that was the story at the beginning of the match wasn't it really Kutsa just putting shots tamely into the net in the end a very comfortable opening set Machine, isn't it? That just keeps on running. It's the Rolls Royce. Love game. Same start as that of the first set. She came so close, didn't she, to winning the Grand Slam of 
1997. The Slam of Slams. She won the Australian. Finalist of the French. It's the only one she didn't capture. Lost in the final there to Eva Maioli. Eva Maioli just playing tennis that was unbelievable on the day. Then won Wimbledon and the US Open. And I know it's something that obviously she would love to do. She's already done it in doubles. And to add the singles as well would just top it all, wouldn't it? If she was to achieve that feat, she would have just done it before her 19th birthday. Records have been smashed ever since she took up the game of tennis for Martina Hingis. Time. And there'd be a lot of money going on, you would imagine on the Grand Slam being achieved this year. It's tough on this sort of form to see who is going to stop her. Lindsay Davenport did remarkably well to gain the number one spot. An enormous dedication, a lot of loss of weight, enormously improved fitness. But I'm not sure whether Lindsay Davenport will be able to maintain that dedication. We'll see, obviously, but uh, I think it's for sure. <laughs> Worth a flutter on the Grand Slam achievement this year. in this rally here with this angle she's got to go for broke early on in the rally run the risk of the errors but dominate before being dominated has to be the recipe for the South African and there the reason why anything down the middle and Kurtz is going to be on a bit of string. I mean, there's not a lot you can do about that, though. Maybe change the serve next time, go to the backhand and not the forehand, but this return of serve was very damaging, right near the line, and then just following it in for the volley put away. So, all of the shots in that rally played straight down the middle of the court got her into that sort of trouble break point Changed the serve, went for the body, good footwork from Zingis there, and fairly thumps the backhand into out, down the line, within an inch for a clean winner. Gets the break, and she's rolling again in the second set. match, hasn't it? Martina Ingus just having a little look at Kurtz there. I think her philosophy is when you get them down, bury them. Okay. That's exactly what she's trying to do here. The soil 
is already being placed in the ground. Three love, second set. Moment with that score line, there looks like only one winner here in Tokyo. Amanda Kurtzer has only really been in the match in very brief spells. She's got to get the ball away from the middle of the court to have any chance in this match. All down the middle. Martina's just deciding where to put the ball at will. <laughs> Another young viewer courtside. We saw a lot of that in the Australian Open. An indoor arena. The voice the noise really does travel. the luxury of a smile it's just great technique isn't it it's just so smooth oh. biggest problem at the moment in this match for Martina Hingis will be concentration such is the ease of the wind so far. get her away from the middle of the court but made the error and again a break point chance for Martina Hingis Amanda Kurtz, so don't forget. She's beaten Lindsay Davenport and Monica Selesh. Monica Selesh, remember, the first time in her career she got a win against her. So her ranking of 15 will certainly be improved, but she'll be looking to keep this match alive as long as she can. With shots like that, she's got every chance, but it's got to be that sort of attack. She must go for broke. Take the ball early. A big switch in the grip there, you notice, with the backhand of forehand. It's quite interesting that actually because most players will start with a backhand grip. It was clearly there. Kutsu starting with the forehand grip and then switching to the backhand grip. She'll be disappointed with her performance. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. It's all very comfortable. 
at this stage. 6-2-5 love now for Martina Hingis. One game away from her second title of 1999. And I say Amanda Kurtz will be disappointed with serves like that and with the ground strokes as they have been for Martina Hingis. She's just been too good. It's as simple as that today. Good arm extension on the serve. All of body weight going forwards. You don't get much better service actions than that. The ball toss nicely out in front. All the weight transference moving smoothly through the action. It really has been some start for years. And she was a finalist in Sydney, don't forget. Mother Melanie looking on. Losing to Lindsay Davenport in that final. Four and three. Won the Australian singles and doubles. Looks to be moving very quickly through this match to the second title of the year. She's in the final of the doubles. So one thing's for sure, she's going to be tired at the end of this tournament. Time. But will be delighted. The most important thing for her was to regain the number one spot as fast as possible. 80 weeks she held it for. I've got a sneaky feeling it's going to be longer than that this time around. So Amanda Kutzer serving to stay in the match at a set down and love five in the second set. Just long. I'm not sure if Amanda Kutzer does win this game. There'll be generous applause. Ah! As generous by Japanese standards, at least. 5 1 now. Hingis, second set. Goods on the line. I think Martina Hingis there dismayed at her choice of shot. Why she didn't hit this or lob that, I don't know what she was hoping to achieve with that one. Right on the line. Body weight transference is superb. The left leg landing first, the traditional way, on the jump serve. Just long. Double match point for Martina Hingis. Ah! 
<laughs> I think she was already shaking hands then before that volley. Champagne still on ice, but I don't think for much longer. Shame for Amanda Kurtzer. She'll be disappointed with her performance in the final. She's had a great week. But the real winner here, Martina Hingis. Her success story of 1999 gathers momentum. Winner at Melbourne Park last week. Back-to-back -back titles now. Her 11th straight win. She's won 13 out of 14 matches this year so far. And it's career title number 21 for this Swiss sensation. She's taken the Torre Pan Pacific Open here in Tokyo. 6-2, 6-1 against Amanda Kurtzer of South Africa. Don't forget, coming up after this program, it really is an all-French affair in Marseille. Fabrice Santoro against Arno Clement. Simon Reid and Froome McMillan will be your hosts for that one. From Chris Bradnam, it's bye for now. Never stop 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 never stop